Jay, and welcome to Jay's Knit and Pearl Jam. Come in and say hello to my two friends. We have Knit, say hello, and we have Pearl. And this is my Pearl Jam. I want to bring you into the world that I enjoy so much. I love knitting. I've been knitting for years, and I want to show you how I keep my stash and how I enjoy what I do. So why don't we take a tour of my Pearl Jam. This was the original back door of our home, and we added on a 20 by 20 space strictly for my projects and for whatever I wanted to do. So when you walk into my room, the first thing you'll come to is my computer and office space. This turned out to be a lovely office space. Just kind of edit that way. And I have my computer. I have my copier. And as we come around, this is the area where I sit and work on my projects. This is my wonderful couch. Here's my salad bowl of yarn. My workspace, my table, which is a drop leaf table that can expand into a nice circle. Here are some of my show needles. And here is where I sit when I want to do needle point. And I have my needle point light. Here's some of my threads. And a few DVDs. This is some of my stash. I love looking at my stash. I like it in order. I like it color combinations. I like to display it. And this is a great way to keep all of those little extra balls of yarn. And believe me, you need to keep your extra yarns in little balls. Here is my television. My two friends, Knit and Pearl. Here's the second stash of yarn. And all of my patterns are in my white binders. And I'll show you this in detail later. But I just wanted you to get an idea of my jam. Here are some of my knitting projects, but here's the love that I like. This is my cotton that I love. You think that's enough colors? I think I've run out of room, but I love my cottons. So pretty. And here is my sewing station. This is my machine. It's an old baby lock, but I don't sew as much anymore because I just, it hurts my back too much. But I still, you still need a sewing machine. Here's some of my favorite yarns. These are Karen's Simply Soft. Here is some of my needlepoint pillows. And I make my own needlepoint, I paint my own needlepoint canvas. So that will be a part of the things that I will be showing you. Then here is my sewing fabrics. Well, this is part one. I will show you part two. Well, here we are at part two of Jay's Knit and Pearl Jam. Sorry, but I just can't get it all in one. What can I say? All right. 
I didn't cover my fabrics. I have a lot more fabrics underneath my cabinets. But this is just what I call my show fabrics. And that's just a little example of some of the quilting I've done over the years. Mainly tabletops, not large quilts, and mainly string tied quilts. This is what I used to do when I painted. I would paint the center of my quilts and then add the fabric. And as you pan around, I still have a little TV that I can play some VHS on of old programs that I needed to keep. This is my another drop leaf table where I not only do um, needlepoint or whatever I need to do, but I also do a little clay work. And I will tell you about that later. Here's some of my needlepoint canvases here. And I'm really going to show you how I pick a fabric and, a, and draw up the canvas myself. And this is a nice little picnic basket, which is a great way to keep unfinished projects, things that you need to come back to. This is a great find. Look at this. I couldn't find an over-the-door uh, towel rack, so I got an over-the-door shoe rack. And voila! All of my scarves fit beautifully. It's like putting a scarf around your neck. See? Exactly the same. So it made a great scarf holder. So try that. Think about that. Another thing that I haven't shown you is I use a lot of plate racks to hold a lot of my books. And as we come on around, this it's my sink area, which comes in handy in a space this size. You need to be able to entertain and keep things in order and keep things. And I put in nice cabinetry. And as you notice, we have all white on the bottom and all white along the bottom, which we will go into at another time. Except this one. This is my snack stash. We'll look at that later. And as we come around, a few other items of knitting. I really like knitting. Just having the yarn is not enough. Just looking at the yarn is not enough. I really knit. This is just some of the projects I will be showing you. Just a handful of the projects. All of this, just a handful of what I have worked on. And this is really nice to display your yarn in. I bought this when one, unfortunately, one of our yarn stores went out of business. And she even sold the fixtures, so to help her out, I bought that and I love it. Keep all of my yarn. This is my need to finish project bag. Well, that's still as much as I could get in today. And I still didn't get it all in. So you're going to have to come back. Come back and be my guest when I have it all decorated for Christmas. And I'll show you a Christmas surprise. I can't wait. I can't wait till we meet again and enjoy Jay's Knit and Pearl Jam. See ya!